Thank you, Courtney. The reunification of families separated at the border has been covered by news media worldwide. But are all border towns created equal? It's a question our Steve Spreester has been asking as he continues his special reports from the border. Steve joining us live tonight from Del Rio and explains that all border towns are not the same. Not even close, Tim and sees. As a matter of fact, we are standing here in Old Town Del Rio. This is Brown Plaza, dedicated in 1908 during Cinco de Mayo to the city of Del Rio. But admit it, when you say border town, sometimes you have a certain image that is not all that flattering. What is it like to live on the Rio Grande? Is it a place you would want to live? What we found in Del Rio over the last few days is the overwhelming answer is yes. And for a lot of people who live here, where they live is a sense of pride. We came to Del Rio because we wanted to talk to people who live along the border. You can't get any closer than this. The Duffy's backyard is the Rio Grande. Across the way, Acuna, Mexico. When I come out here, it's just relaxing and peaceful. You've got the river, you know, nobody's bothering you. And the problems that I had were from this side. Yes. When it comes to the border, they have a front row seat. Terry King and Mercedes Duffy are longtime river rats. That's what they call themselves. They float the Rio Grande, wave at people across the river, and yes, occasionally they get someone swimming for a better life. Is it they're just people like normal people? Well, they're just regular people trying to make a better life. Yeah. The only thing is they have to do it the legal way. Mercedes and Terry both call themselves supporters of President Trump. But when it comes to Del Rio, the relationship with the border is complicated. The solutions? not always simple. Yeah, we used to be, we used to call each other brothers and sister, you know. The Rio Grande had no bearing on us. We just go back and forth, back and forth. And that, that has already come to a, to a stop. Roy and his wife Mary were born and raised in Del Rio. He used to be in city and county government. He believes the economy in Del Rio is the biggest concern, but admits even that ties back to the border. We're trying to economize Del Rio, and we used to depend a lot on Acuna, and they used to depend a lot on us. That that transaction is not there anymore. We love we, Del Rio. And we're settled for life here. Yeah. And we I was born here, I'm going to die here. It was great to meet all those people. And I have to tell you where Terry and Mercedes live along the Rio Grande. I have never seen the Rio Grande as beautiful as that stretch there. Something you don't often think of when you think of the Rio Grande either. Still, Del Rio has been spared a lot of the media spotlight like other cities, like McAllen, for instance, in the Rio Grande Valley. And McAllen is actually where a lot of families were separated. Yes, it are, yet, as our De Jesse Degollado reports, McAllen is also where many others found gestures of love and support. This is where families have been coming who've been released by U.S. Border Patrol. It's a respite center operated by Catholic Charities. Recognized several years ago by Pope Francis for her humanitarian work among immigrants, Sister Norma Pimentel also has become an outspoken advocate for the families that come through her door. Bienvenidos. Pásenle por acá, por favor. We saw that a couple of weeks ago when we visited here. She told me then that she, along with her volunteers, like much of the nation, are in disbelief over the the current policy regarding these immigrants. Nobody's okay with that. And it's evident that it's true because everybody that has come here is showing the up that are not accepting the fact that this is happening. Tomorrow I'll talk to Sister Norma about everything that's happened since the last time we spoke. And I'll tell you about a retired school teacher from San Antonio who felt she had to come help the families who rely on Sister Norma. Steve? Thank you, Jesse. And tomorrow we move on from Del Rio. We're going to be heading to Eagle Pass, Carrizo Springs, as we make our way towards Foul Furious and our walk across Brooks County, which is scheduled to start on Wednesday morning. So that's tomorrow, and I'll see you guys a little bit later in the show. Now back to Tim and Isis.